The new rules for summer vacation. A quick getaway could be tricky this year, even if you plan on skipping the airport and hitting the road, because different states have different restrictions. And our Becky Worley joins us from San Francisco to explain all of this. Becky, good morning. Good morning, Whit. That week of summer vacation when you can really relax, well, unfortunately, it's going to take a lot more thought and planning this year. Getting away from the stress of everyday life is adding stress to those planning summer trips. Across the country, at least 22 states have some form of travel and quarantine restrictions. In my home state, Hawaii, there is a 14-day quarantine rule. You can't leave your hotel room at all. Violations come with a $5,000 fine and up to a year in jail. So far, authorities say dozens of visitors have been cited and arrested. The Visitors Bureau coining the term aloha later. But it's a very different story in Wyoming. The slogan is, why responsibly? Stating it's a wide open safe haven for visitors. We really haven't gone anywhere. That's probably why we're, we're ready to do something outside of our home. <laughs> the Learned family is planning to go from Idaho to Montana for some R&R, &R, but. We're trying to be prepared for potentially needing to cancel the trip. And that flexibility is smart, says the former head of the CDC, Dr. Tom Frieden. Think ahead and think about the risks and the benefits. He says research the local travel restrictions extensively and think through the steps of getting there. Winging it, he said, is not a good idea. You want to make sure that where you're going, you're going to be welcome and you're going to be able to do the things that you plan to do. But for the Klump family of Louisville, Kentucky, they're considering a flight to Florida for a family reunion in July. I can see it being a bit challenging to keep a mask on our six-year-old. Um, for it's a two hour flight there and then we have a layover in Baltimore for four hours. So they are considering driving to the Sunshine State. But Florida, one of the most popular destinations, has another consideration for visitors. If you're coming from the tri-state area of New York, New Jersey or Connecticut, you must self-isolate for 14 days in your vacation lodging. So if you're in an area that's low risk, you don't want to go to a high risk place. If you're in an area that's high risk, you need to be really careful. And no matter where you're going. If you have an underlying health condition like diabetes or kidney failure or you're older, you really need to think twice about exposing yourself to that kind of risk. Vacation this summer is a lot more complicated. Overnight, the governor of Hawaii just said he will extend the quarantine order past the original June 30th end date. There'd been high hopes the 50th state would reopen July 1st. We were slated to go July 2nd, and that means no visits with my parents for an indefinite amount of time. With This is the longest my kids have ever gone not seeing their grandparents. I, I think your in-laws are there, too. It's hard for the kids and the grandparents. Uh, we've been having the same conversation. My wife's from Hawaii. Her parents are there. We have a trip planned. Not sure what to do. But the question, Becky, moving forward, though, is how will local authorities even enforce some of these rules? Yeah, when a state mandates self-isolation or quarantine, that means total lockdown. So no grocery trips, no walks on the beach. In Hawaii, the hotels have been told to issue room keys that deactivate if you leave your room and try and go back in. When you visit the front desk, they're required to call the police. But how these regulations are enforced state to state, it can vary. Some are just warnings and some, like the one-time key restrictions, much stricter. Got to pay attention to those rules. All right, Becky. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.